The Capilano Suspension Bridge, a simple yet magnificent structure, spans the Capilano River in the district of North Vancouver, Canada. Built in 1889 by George Grant Mackay, a Scottish civil engineer and park commissioner for Vancouver, this bridge has stood the test of time and continues to amaze visitors to this day. Originally constructed with hemp ropes and a deck made of cedar planks, the bridge underwent a transformation in 1903 when it was replaced with a wire cable bridge. This upgrade not only enhanced its durability, but also added to its visual appeal. In 1910, Edward Mann took ownership of the Capilano Suspension Bridge, but it was Mac McEachran who truly left his mark on the bridge's history. In 1935, McEachran purchased the bridge and invited local natives to contribute to the park by placing their totem poles, giving the bridge a unique native theme. Fast forward to 1945, when Henri Aubineau became the new owner of the bridge. Under his ownership, the bridge underwent a complete rebuild in 1956. It was during this time that trails were developed on the west side, and the tea house was transformed into a charming gift shop. Today, the Capilano Suspension Bridge stands as a testament to the ingenuity and craftsmanship of its creators. With a length of 140 meters, 460 FT, and a height of 70 meters, 230 FT, above the river, it offers breathtaking views of the surrounding natural beauty. But the bridge is not just a picturesque landmark. It has also played a role in popular culture. Over the years, it has been featured in various television series, including MacGyver, Sliders, The Crow, Stairway to Heaven, and Psych. Its unique and captivating design has made it a sought-after filming location. In addition to its cultural significance, the Capilano Suspension Bridge has also been the subject of scientific research. In 1974, social psychologists Donald Dutton and Arthur Aaron conducted an experiment on the bridge. They found that men who were approached by a female researcher on the bridge were more likely to call her later compared to men approached on a more stable bridge nearby. This experiment supported the theory that the men were misattributing the adrenaline rush caused by fear to feelings of attraction towards the woman. It provided further evidence for Stanley Schachter's two-factor theory of emotion. As we wrap up our journey through time, we can't help but marvel at the beauty and significance of the Capilano Suspension Bridge. Its rich history, stunning views, and cultural impact make it a must-visit destination for anyone exploring Vancouver. So, if you ever find yourself in this vibrant city, don't miss the opportunity to experience the magic of the Capilano Suspension Bridge.